Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I actually am going to talk about something that honestly I thought I'd never say in my life that the right things were going on this platform, but I digress. Um, recently, many of you guys have been finding my channel, whether subbing or not, um, like through what means no one really knows. I noticed some comments saying that whether it was whether as I said whether like you guys liked it or not, it, 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 the point of the matter was just that YouTube randomly uh, the algorithm started recommending uh, the videos that I put up, and nobody really knew why. I started seeing a lot of those, and I kind of looked. I, I tried it out for myself, and I tried to keep an eye out for a pattern. Whether it was number of likes, um, time on the videos, number of subs, uh, number of hate versus good comments, that, whether it's a ratio thing or not, I don't, I wasn't sure. So I went and looked into it, and I can say this: personal opinion for once, you, the YouTube algorithm is actually doing something right. <laughs> which is something I haven't said since 2015. Um, actually, correction, 2016. Now, the reason I say this, of those that were listed, it was actually the sub count that seemed to have a constant pattern. Um, it was a number of from 1,000 to about 10,000 subs. If the channel had anything within that range... I would get constant recommendations of the same one channel, whether I was sub to it or not. And a good example of this is that of... I don't remember the name of the channel. I came across it for a moment on my private channel, and I subbed to it, but not looking on it right now, and I don't remember the name. But the channel had like a... I think it was like a one-and-a-half-minute video where they were playing Kingdom Hearts... Um, it was, they were playing the vanilla Kingdom Hearts, and they were going up against the secret boss, Sephiroth. Person heard that music and immediately was like, nope! I was like, huh, well, that was enjoyable to watch. Understandable, too. You go, if you hear that music, you're gonna, that should be the generic response. But anyway, um... That's one good example of what I'm referring to. I found videos as simplistic as that to as long as maybe a few hours at times. One way or the other, all of these channels had that one thing in common. A blank amount of subs um, with a small amount of views. The video I was just talking about when I watched it had, I believe, like... I think it was like 26 views. It didn't have very many views. I'm just going to put it that way. And I looked around some more. I just deep hunted for, or I tried to deep hunt, but it didn't take much, for like different channels that have had between that number of subs. And every time I looked, found someone, and looked at one of the videos that were recommended for, in that category, none of them had very many views. And I remember... Little ways back, not too long ago, YouTuber Jacksepticeye, um, he talked, I think it was him, maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was him. It was either him, no, it was the Game Theorists. Um, on their GT Live channel, I believe. Uh, who, either that or it was on the Game Theory channel. Either way around, Matt Pat. He was talking about the fact that... He was talking about an ARG, so it was on the Game Theorist channel. Um, and he brought up the idea that through the ARG, the ARG itself, was, as a theory, was pointing out like the struggle for lower-subbed channels. And I believe this was just a few weeks prior to me finding out about what I'm talking about today. As he's talking about it, he brings up the idea that 
at that moment, it seemed like YouTube wasn't really, the algorithm wasn't really supporting any lower subbed channels. If you had anything below, I believe the number was like 20K, something like that. No, it was like below 100K. Either way, whatever the number was, if you were like a lower channel, YouTube didn't seem to support it. So the claim on his was go out, find these kind of channels, and start supporting them because YouTube ain't going to do it. Well, I think YouTube probably saw that fix their algorithm to point out literally any of the 2 billion channels that are on here, whether they make content or not. I think that after that, the company acknowledged it and tinkered with their algorithm to try to find, make it so it can point out even the smallest of channels. If it had any kind of little bits of content that the user may enjoy, it would be there. The thing about that particular aspect that could be a con, though, is that you have to actually, when, when the algorithm does it, they scan the entire video. A person looks at it, looks at probably the first two minutes for the most part, and goes, meh. Or they'll laugh, cry, show some kind of emotion. It just depends on the person. Um, for example, there, for more of a downer example of what I'm kind of referring to, there was actually somebody who crossed my channel. Uh, it was episode six of my Dark Souls Remastered series. And this particular individual, it, the video was recommended to them and they did not like the channel whatsoever. They thought it was trash. To each their own, sure, fine, okay. But it's probably because they only looked at the first few minutes and went, this is crap. Realistically, that's what most people do. Not many people actually think about that. Bear in mind, I'm fully aware there's over 2.5 billion people, I believe. At least, at the very minimum, there's over 2 billion people who are users of this platform. So, when I say, let, let me rephrase, instead of most, it's a large handful of them. A large handful of them will either snipe people for no reason, or they will just, like, hate on a channel for no reason. They'll, they'll click on it, give it a few minutes, and start hating on it. There, I've had that happen before, too. With different videos, some of them are actually depleted from this channel for a completely different reason. But then there are some a large handful of individuals as well out there who will actually open the video, and they'll treat it like a book. book chapter books generally have, you know, about maybe a minimum of 200, 300 pages. General rule of thumb. Always read the first 20 pages before deciding. In the case of a video, movie, um, in my case, playthroughs of these kind of videos, look at the timestamp of how long the video is and give it 5 to 10 minutes. Not 2 to 3 minutes. Because for videos like these, generally it takes a little bit quite a bit of time to be able to pick up on actually why the video is up. Again, I'll go back to that um, Dark Souls video. There was actually someone else who commented on that video who actually gave a very, very generous comment uh, about enjoying the video. I can guarantee this person actually watched it to the degree that would make more sense. Like, they treated that video like a book. Um, because of that, they actually got enjoyment out of the video. I rewatched. I honestly forgot what I said in the video, so I actually went back to it to watch it and see why. It didn't. It took me like five, ten minutes, like I said before, to realize why. I was like, yeah, <laughs> and I definitely appreciated it. Like that kind of stuff is appreciated. But with all that being said, reverting back to what the original topic was. The algorithm, I think, is how that's how the algorithm is approaching it. It'll scan the entirety of the video, but being that we're human, we will never watch the whole video and judge. Very few people do that. So it'll take details from the entire video 
pinpointed version parts of the video. And if any of those parts match anything you enjoy at all, it'll recommend it. For example, that I'm bringing up that video once again because that video is like the perfect example of what is being talked about. The joke that I put up in that video, it really did not really kickstart entirely until about seven, eight minutes in. I'm sure there were scattered other mini jokes in between, but the algorithm scanned the whole thing. And I, there are people, if you know how, you are able to actually go through to see how it's functioning it and like what it ha where it highlights things and even sometimes on you uh vanilla youtube itself without having to hack anything it'll still tell you that so i went through it on my private account instead of this one and it told me six highlighted points and i was like hmm one of those has nothing to do with the others and i said that about every single highlighted point but once again coming off of this channel and reverting to the other channels like there are some beat making ones that only hit have like 500 subs i some of those came across i was like okay it's a beat another beat making channel let's give it a shot each one i ended up supporting every single channel i've ever come across um that has stuff and you can tell they're trying their hardest to actually do it that's going to get my full support pretty much immediately if it shows that the work is being put in that gets an automatic sub for me whether i watch the videos all the time or not doesn't matter that one inch of support says a lot to the platform on its own and that could be another reason why the algorithm started acting the way it did as well this is not something i took into consideration when i did the research prior to this video but what it could also take into consideration is the people you're sub to it is possible that the algorithm is also programmed did an additional program to recommend people who are sub to the channel and watch it a lot reason well i'm gonna go off of my own experience one a couple of the uh series that i have on this channel have been inspired and some of the jokes have been inspired as well not copied just inspired by other content creators for example dgr dave another youtuber who does gaming but very very specifically categorizes in the video game super mario maker 2 sometimes others but that is his main well-known one right now and he does troll levels a kind of level most people hate, but is enjoyable to watch. The kind of joking that goes on in that series is very family friendly, but it's also very linked, which is kind of where I started connecting to it, more or less. The connection between what I do and with that is he'll joke in a sense of the creators who made the content this kind of inspired me to make jokes based off what the creators give me and normally that's why you don't see jokes up front within the first couple of minutes of the video it would take if it's like a 20 minute video it'll take five six minutes if it's a 40 ish minute video it'll take about 10. I make it a point to try to do that and I've noticed I in the research that I was doing I noticed this is a constant with almost any creator on the platform even ones who do skits for a big example of this one this is going to be the last example before I do my closing statement um, youtuber Super Mario Logan Super Bowser Logan Super Luigi Logan He's gone through several channel names because YouTube's algorithm is just not very nice to him. However, that being said, his skits, at first, if you watch like the first couple of minutes, are very dry. But if 
you sit through them for like about five minutes, you'll start to pick up on the humor that's going on. It's very adult humor, so if you are not 18 plus, do not go watch them. That's one thing that was never considered prior to all the new setups. Like the algorithm nowadays for creators asks you, is this made for kids? If the videos he had made were actually made currently, he probably still would be safe and he could probably say, no, they're not. They have events, offensive terms, circumstance like that. They, the videos are more his kind of humor of what the same pattern adult animations do, like Family Guy, American Dad, um, South Park, that kind of humor. Except he has his own twist and uses a very particular category for it. He's been attacked because of it, because when he was, it was before any of these actions were put into play which is really unfair on his end but he still thrives which is kudos to him but it gives the point of i think the big thing that helps the people who have smaller subs youtube scans the entire video and highlights certain points but to get to those points the viewer actually has to watch at least a f maybe a fifth of the video Six at the least, perhaps. Depending on how long... Like, if, if, if the video is like two or three hours long, then treat it like a movie. How long would you sit into in a movie before you finally go, nah, this isn't for me? You'd have to give it a chance, right? Well, that's what the algorithm has started to do for lower-subbed creators. It would scan the video, giving them an actual chance to give them a boost. For me... I feel like most of it doesn't come from that, even though I'm probably wrong, because I've get, been getting a lot of statements like that recently, but for a lot of people who have lower subs, who do create, it, the algorithm has been very generous enough to actually give these people a chance. And for once, in a long time, I can finally say, I actually do feel like the algorithm is doing something right and something to benefit those who have a large desire to do this kind of thing as a career, like me. Now, I've never approached it as a get, I wanna get paid thing, up until I knew there was a large possibility of this eventually happening. Even still, to this date, I, I approach it with the mindset of, I'm doing this to make people laugh to make people smile, to help people, and for personal different reasons that I'll probably eventually talk about in an About Me video, but not yet. But the algorithm itself, for a long, for, for the longest time, I can finally actually say I actually think the algorithm has been built to support not just those who YouTube is already paying, but to, for those who have the potential. And it's very heartwarming to see that. With that being said, though, what do you guys think? You think I left anything out of this uh, little conversation? Any details that you think may have been oversighted? Um, I did not look into every single piece of information, uh, even with the help of Pink Fox in there. Um, SD Breaker is what he's going to start going by, as I believe, but Aaron. Um, with the help of those two, we still couldn't really find any too many cons that haven't been approached already. But I know other YouTubers have approached that, so maybe that's just the collide. I don't know. But let me know if I did miss anything. If so, well, I guess we'll have to look into what the heck is going on with this um, program, this software overall. Maybe we can create our own uh, individual series, whether it's a live stream series or a video series on that particular thing specifically. But for right now, we're leaving this as discussion and rant. Speaking of, make sure to give the video a like if you did like it. Um, if you want to check out any of the other discussion and rant videos, this would be number 293, I believe. Click link on this side and you'll find all the other ones that have been done on this channel. 
I still remember the first one that was being done, and holy crap. Click link on this side if you'd rather uh, watch something else that may float your boat a bit more. At this point, you may be surprised on what you may find. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this video and so much for sticking around for this channel for however long you guys have been. Once again, I'm going to head off. Thanks again, and we hope to catch all of you in another video. See you guys later.